So I typically try and write lines to get the crowd excited. But up here, no reaction, just the sound of silence. But that's fine by me. I don't need a loud environment. And if you lose, you can say that the cloud was biased. Shout outs to Matt Ills. <laughs> So the whole idea from the hot air balloon, the whole the whole idea for the hot air balloon battle came up when me and uh, Laughing Stock were at Battle of the Zay, and we were doing behind the scenes interviews. We were driving back down, and we we're kind of just fucking around, joking around, and we brought up the joke of the hot air balloon, how like uh, Matt Ills thought that it would be funny to do, or not even funny, he thought it would be cool to do a hot air balloon battle. Um, and everybody was kind of like, why would you think that would be cool? That's like ridiculous. Um, and I was like talking to Laughing Stock and I was like, why don't we just do it? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we just did it? And he was totally on board. And we were just like joking around and laughing about it. And then I was like, what if you battle Thesaurus in a hot air balloon? <laughs> and he died <clears throat> laughing. And I basically was just like, hey, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. I'm gonna go forward with it, and we're gonna do a fucking hot air balloon battle with Laughing Stock versus Thesaurus. So I texted Pete, and I was like, "Yo, would you be down to battle Laughing Stock in a hot air balloon?" And he just texts me back. He's like, "Yeah." It's popping, guys. It's 3:30 uh, a.m. on Saturday. Um, I don't know the fucking date. <laughs> September 29th or something like that. But yeah. It's 3.30 a.m. I'm about to leave for Lake Elsinore. We're on, or I'm on, my way to go film a hot air balloon battle with Thesaurus and Laughing Stock. It's something that I've been planning for almost two months now with Thesaurus and uh, Laughing Stock. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I feel like a lot of people are gonna think it's hilarious when it drops. I've uh, kept it a secret. I'm actually gonna mob out there and we're supposed to take off at six. It's like an hour away. So I'm gonna go pick up uh, Laughing Stock and Thesaurus at their hotels. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go from there. It's foggy. Can't see shit. Start closing teasers. Picked up these guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi. We're about to blast off. She's about to leave her. We are. We is. <laughs> Hyped. It's like 6 a.m., probably earlier than that. And yeah, we're just gonna load up on coffee and donuts and go flying. No Spit God. bars. I just found out I weigh way more than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> and Brett weighs way less than I expected. Shockingly, <laughs> yeah. I'm in the double digits so, again. Let's go. <laughs> Immediately, when we see the balloons, we're like, whoa, these are way bigger than what they, we thought they were. Like, I don't know what the hell we thought they were gonna be like, but they were substantially bigger than I thought they were. They were like, as they're like five stories high. They were as big as a fucking house. All right, we're uh, getting set up with the balloon. This is the size, I think. Ours might be slightly smaller than this, but that thing is so huge. We weren't expecting it to be this big at all. Laughing Sock is enthralled by the size of this thing. That is a giant. I don't know. That's bigger than many of them back there. This is the, by far the biggest, biggest room battle that's ever been done in the history of Battle Rat, right here. So we definitely weren't expecting these no, this size, right? I, no, not at all. That's like a planet. <laughs> all right, so we're getting ready to take off. You guys ready? I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. We're good. The the, it's ready the bigger as that, that be. the bigger that balloon gets, the, bigger, the less ready I am. The bigger that one gets, the more intimidating. Woo! Let's go. Balloon battles and shit. Ruin your day. Wow.
baskets was smaller <laughs> than I thought they were gonna be significantly smaller like tiny as fuck um, Basically, when we saw the basket, we're like, okay, that looks like it can fit like four of us pretty comfortably. How like wide it was wasn't the problem. It was the height. When we got into the basket, it only goes up to your like waist. So think about if you're like super high in the air and you don't have something that like you feel like you could, you could basically watch the edge and kind of just lean over and fall out of. And we're all kind of a little bit cramped in there. And like I was like shoulder to shoulder with Saurus. Laughing stock had a little bit of room, but there's no weird real place to put like to hang like to like grab There's no like support. So it's kind of gnarly When it first took off I like literally like thought I was gonna have a panic attack and I'm, I'm afraid of heights But I didn't think I was that afraid of heights and like once it lifted off and I saw like the ground getting further away and, and then even further away and I was like whoa, we're going really high basically I just tuned everything out and just looked into my monitor and I'm like, if I just concentrate on this, I'm not gonna like really know that I'm in this moment and know that there's not a wall behind me that I could just do that and lean out and fall to my death. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I guess, yeah. Sorry, Hills. <laughs> <laughs> so it was gnarly when we took off, but it was fucking beautiful. It was more than we expected it to be. It was so pretty. And when we got up there, we just, Thesaurus and Laughingstock went to work. And so the whole, the way the hot air balloon works is when the flame's on, you can't hear shit. And it's really fucking hot. Like when that flame is on, it's fucking hot as shit. Um, so they need to ascend to a certain level. And basically how the, they usually work is they just kind of keep the flame on like every now and then, like every like, 20 seconds, they go <laughs> So it basically just makes the balloon do this. Just coasts, like kind of like an airplane. But I, since we needed audio, I was like, we can't really do that. So basically we're gonna do this. We're gonna go up, then descend a little bit up, descend a little bit up, descend. So after every round, like after every wrapper wrapped, it would descend. Um, so that was pretty cool. We were constantly doing this. And there was one point where we were like, I swear to God, we were so fucking high in the air, and he was like, okay, like, I'm gonna ascend again, and I'm like, dude, we don't need to go higher than this, this is like fucking gnarly, like, we're really, really high right now. And I didn't even think of that, I was like, man, that would suck to, like, get up there and not be able to, like, even perform. You, first of all, you can't move, like, they can't, like, fucking wrap and move around and be animated, they have to sit there, sit still. And then not only that, imagine, like, rapping, but also being, like, nervous, too, and, like, I don't know, I was just worried like that it may, might come across that like everybody was nervous, but Laughing Stock was fucking fine. He was like looking over the edge of the ground and shit, and, like even seeing him do that was like making my stomach turn. <laughs> we overshoot it? The crew! Uh, Alright, you can let it go now. Alright. Stand up. Fine. Stand up straight again. That was a. Uh... Much more abrupt than I was expecting. We lived. Yes. We did. <laughs> good awesome. Job. Hey, good thank job. you. That thank was you. That was great. Job. Appreciate it. Good job. Thank you very much, man. It was fun, man. Then we landed, like finished the battle, landed, um, packed up the balloon, helped the crew, and then uh, had breakfast, dumped the footage. Uh, I edited it really fast, uploaded it, then it did a live watch. Like, aside from the logistics of uh, what a fucking hot air balloon can handle, Bruh. setting it up was the easiest. Everybody was down, and uh, the fact that it even happened at all was really A, and crazy. being up there at the peak of height that we were at was genuinely fucking terrifying. Yeah, like... First of all, the basket is waist level for all of us. Like, yeah. maybe just below waist level. So you genuinely feel like at any moment, if you lean you wrong, fall. you could just slip right the fuck out of this thing. I, the entire battle, all of my rounds, I was holding a handle on the inside of the balloon <laughs> and just planted as fuck. I was not trying to move. Bro. Yeah, when it first took off, I was like, Okay, this isn't that bad. But then when it started getting higher, I like literally felt like yep. you just don't feel like there's any support. Yeah. It, it like started to get really scary and I was like, dude, I'm about to fucking flip out. <laughs>
It was it's so nuts. Meanwhile, fucking laughing stock is over here, like looking over the edge, yeah. like fucking oh, having the best time. I was the only one that wasn't scared. <laughs> be like, hey guys, come on, let's have a rat now. Hey. Like, you weren't the only one. Joe the operator was oh, yeah. fucking. Dude, he was you see him in the oh, battle? Yeah. He's literally hanging over the edge, checking his phone with his yeah. phone dangling yeah. off the edge. He gets no fucks. He wasn't worried at all. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, this will definitely never be topped. Bro. Yes, That's 100% yeah. Shout out, facts. shout out to Jason. Um, but yeah, we did a hot air balloon battle <laughs> um, with these two legends. Um, so respect for Saurus and Laughing Stock wouldn't have happened without them for being cooperative, keeping this a secret. This was definitely a task. We woke up at like 3 a.m. to go to this hot air balloon at six. Yeah, and uh, we were up before sunrise. We yeah. watched the sunrise at the spot. Yeah, and then we got rewarded with champagne at the yeah. end. <laughs> We, we got tight. champagne and certificates. Yeah, we got for certificates. Being so great. That was pretty awesome. And Fine. shout out everybody on the Patreon because this would not have happened if it wasn't for y'all. So patreon.com backslash ruin your day now. Everybody that supported contributed in any way, shape, and form contributed to this battle happening and uh, fun content like this coming at you. And you are also <laughs> contributing to future battles. So if you think this was a waste of money, which it wasn't, <laughs> your, your your contributions will go towards future projects, yes. other things that we're planning on filming. So, you know, the, the, the more you help us, the better content we'll be able to produce for you. Location on. Yep. 